phone onto you. Remember, you understand? Okay, now get up. No noise. That's a good girl. Come on. Come on, that's right. I want the jewelry, honey. Honey, I want the jewelry right now. Come on, come on. That's a girl. That's right, put it out there. That's a girl. Don't make a sound, sweetheart. What's going on? Don't say anything, Carl. He's got a gun. What do you want? What are you doing here? Better listen to her, Carl. Keep your mouth shut. You both stay alive. That's a girl, honey. Just be quiet. You too, Carl. Hey, you've got some junk here, but you've got a couple of nice pieces. That's good. That's a good girl. Oh, just smell Look at this. I'm out on you, 590. All units, vicinity 154, Valley Road. Sound of alarm. All units, code 2. 106, roger. Ludlow 9, roger. Come here. Uh, wait a minute. You got something to say, Carl? For God's sake, don't, Carl. Don't. You better listen to her, Carl. Stay quiet, you both stay alive. Danko, you and Winston around the back. Ambulance, baby. <laughs> Webster. You and Owen's coming from the side of the house. It's bad sending rookies with rookies. Why don't you take one and I'll take the other? Okay, Webster with me, Owen's with you. Now move out and keep cool. Okay, you both want to stay alive? You do just what I tell you. Come here, honey, now. We're gonna walk out of here. Nice and easy. You and me. You got it? Please, don't hurt her. Oh, shut up, Harold. Nice and calm, honey. <laughs> Okay, friend. Okay. Take it easy. We'll do it your way. Okay? Okay. dead. What happened? Webster was closest. Go ahead. Sergeant Logan holstered his gun, stood up from behind cover, tried to calm the man down, but the guy started shooting and the first shot got Logan. Did you get a good look at the man? Yes, sir. Anyone else? We all saw him. Owens, you went after him. I went after him, Lieutenant. But he was long gone. It was too dark. All right, I want you all to go up to the crime lab, work up a composite, and go down to R and I, go over the mug shots, go slow, be careful. Because I want this killer. I want him bad. <laughs> Mrs. Cameron? 
I'm sure. Thank you. That's got to be him. The rest of you? Yeah, we got him. Yes, sir, that's him. Webb, sir. It sure does look like him. But I don't think so. Uh, I can't tell for sure. What's that supposed to mean? Well, just what I said. I, I'm not sure that's the man. You're crazy. That's him. All right, drop it, will you please, Menti? I want to thank the two of you for coming in. Sergeant Pilar is uh, outside at the desk. He has a car waiting to drive you home. We uh, certainly will call you if we have something else. Thanks very much. Look, here's a file. Six people says this is the guy that killed my partner. Now, what's the hassle? No hassle, man. I'm just saying I'm not sure. I wasn't as close to him as Terry, but I'd have to say it's the same man. You want to add anything to this, Holmes? I got a good look at him, Lieutenant. I have to go along with Mike. I think you're wrong on this one. I'm not wrong. I just don't know, that's all. Look, I'm not saying this is not the guy who killed Logan. I'm saying that I'm not as sure as you are. Is that hard to live with? Not at all, Webster. That is your right, and it is also your job. Now, let's see what we have here. Joseph Como, age 41, first arrest, 1947, 14 years of age. Charged with assault with intent to kill, sentenced to three years, juvenile home, sentence set aside. After that, he was arrested for assault with a deadly weapon, rape, assault with a deadly weapon, manslaughter, armed robbery. Terrific. Let's get behind this guy and let him know we're with him. Let him know he's got friends on the force. All right, just cut it out, will you please, Mentir? He's been into drugs, prostitution. There's not a crime I can think of he hasn't been suspected of or charged with. You think a guy like that would have been put away a long time ago? He's one of these hoods who takes care of the witness by buying him or killing him. This is an ugly human being, Webster. There's not a cop I know of and respect that wouldn't like to see him put away, especially if he killed Logan. Lieutenant, if he's the guy who killed Logan, I want him as bad as you do. But the question is, do we want him for his record or because he is, in fact, the man who killed Logan. Would you feel better if we stuck him in a lineup? Possibly. I'll be a lot shorter than I am now. Well, I, for one, would feel a lot better if we had him in custody. suspicion of murder of police officer Logan. Hey, what are you talking about? You have the right to remain silent. If you give up the right to remain silent, anything you say can and will be used silent. against you in a court of law. Stupid like I shot somebody. You have the right to speak with an attorney and have that attorney present during questioning. Yeah, I know all about my rights. Take if you jacket, so please. desire, Honey, I'll be right you back. cannot afford an attorney. One will be appointed to you before questioning. Name? Sister Mary. Don't wise off. Oh, I'm sorry. Father Flanagan. I was just looking for an excuse to break you in half, punk. What's going on here? I just helped out, Lieutenant. See if nothing goes wrong. Mentir, you're supposed to be somewhere else. Will you get there? That goes for the rest of you. Lieutenant. The lab boys couldn't lift a clean set of prints out of the house. That's just great. You get a lawyer? 
Yeah, he's in Vegas on business. Get him. I've got you on a murder one. You all right now? Yes. Take all the time you need. And you understand the procedure? Yes, Lieutenant, you explained it very clearly. All right, bring him in. Back up against the wall. Number one, step forward. That's him. You sure, Mrs. Cameron? Not that one. The second man in line, that's the one. Thank you. Step back, number one. Number two, step forward. Hey, wait a minute. Who's putting a finger on me? Shut up. Mentir. Yeah, that's the one. Owens? Yes, sir. That's him. Yeah, that's got to be him. Mr. Cameron? Oh, yeah. Webster? Webster? Come on, Webster, give me an answer. I need a yes or no. Looks like him, but that's not the man. Will you say you're sure this time? Yes, sir. That's not the man who shot Logan. You're wrong, officer. That's the one. I saw him up close. I saw him like you'll never see him. I could never forget that face. I'm sorry. It's not the man. Webster, take Coleman in the cell block. You tell that buddy of yours, if he gets in between that punk and a murder rap, I'll climb all over him. Hey, I didn't do it. Hey, brother, will you listen to what I'm saying, man? I didn't do it. Well, you'll get a chance to prove it. Uh, were you there when I was supposed to kill that cop? Oh, what is this, a Gestapo man? I got a right to know that. I was there. And did you see me kill him? I didn't say that. Well, man, what are you saying? Hey, this is my life we're talking about. I got a right to know. If you got something to say, say it. I don't think you killed Logan. Well, what'd they pull me in for? Because six other people say they saw you. Four of them are police officers, and they could be just as right as I think I am. Oh, so what you're saying is that I'm dead? What I'm saying is that it's your word and mine against theirs, which don't look too good for you because your word is, uh, useless. Oh, so you've got a point there, pal. I can't argue with that about my word. Come on, go ahead, follow. We'll put another dead cop in the ground. Nobody's gonna do anything. <laughs> Officers, you want this precinct to bury men too. Escaped from custody and wanted for the murder of police officer Logan, one Vincent Joseph Como. Believed to be traveling in a police vehicle bearing city license plate 609 or 75. Como was armed and considered extremely dangerous. Turn that thing off. Why don't you give this up, Como? This is one you won't get away with. Shut your face. I'll let you know what I want to hear from you. I'll get out of this, buddy boy. Just like everything else I got out of. You can't buy anyone when you're wanted for killing a cop. 
Hey, I didn't kill anybody, and you know that as well as me. Well, I'm having second thoughts. You run like a guilty man. Sure. Maybe you are. Sure. Yeah, you're turning around already, huh? You know, you're just like the rest of your kind. Pigs! I don't care who you got. Turn in there. That's right. Down a little further and pull up. Had a boy. Keep going, keep going. Straight ahead. I'll tell you where. Now, get on your radio. Webster, what's the matter with you? Ain't your mother never taught your brains? Look, Webster, you want to die right here, you got it. That's a good boy. Now, you tell Riker, I want a clear drive, no cops jamming me up on Crescent Street. You do it! Webster, you mean zip to me. You guys got me hung either way. Control, this is Webster. Request a patch from TAC-3 to Lieutenant Riker. At least we know he's alive. All right, Webster, this is Lieutenant Riker. Go ahead. He wants to move down Crescent with no interference. Lieutenant, I wouldn't clear it for him. Give me that! Hey, Riker, you gonna do what I want right now? Huh? I'm thinking about it. Well, you ain't got time to think. Riker, you don't do what I want right now, you can kiss this cop goodbye. We're right in Terry's wrong. He's killed one cop already. Two can't be that big a difference. You've got to give him what he wants, Lieutenant. Riker? You better make your mind up now. All right, Como, you've got it. It's good. I want to hear her come over the radio. All right. This is Lieutenant Riker. All units, Ludlow 14 will be proceeding along Crescent Street. The occupants will be a fugitive, Joseph Como, and a member of this department, Officer Webster. I do not want this vehicle interfered with. Repeat, do not interfere with this vehicle. Do not approach it. All right, over and out. Kill that motor. I said kill it. That's a boy. Hey, Webster. You know why I'm gonna beat this? Because I'm smart. You see, I ain't going nowhere near Crescent Street, but every cop in America thinks I am. We'll, we'll say thank you. For what? Well, for letting you live. It'd be so easy to kill you. You won't. Yeah, what makes you so sure? Because I'm the only hope you have with this murder charge against you. Hey, you think I see you standing up in a courtroom, huh? Swearing I didn't do it? You think I don't know that you're gonna say anything a lieutenant tells you to say? You're wrong! I may be dead wrong. Come on, let me take you in. It will, uh, make them question why you came back. Say something for you. Yeah, it'll say that I'm crazy. No way, pal. I go back there, I'm dead. You're dead if you run. They'll shoot you down in the street. Well, I'm gonna take my chances. Hey, I got friends, you know? They're gonna help me. No one is gonna help you with the troubles you're carrying. Hey, you know something? You're nuts. You know that you're a freaked-out idiot. You know, instead of kissing my hand, Webster, for letting you live, yeah, you're trying to talk me into giving myself up. Hey, what do you want? Some kind of a medal, a new badge for that uniform of yours? Hey, Webster, when you think about it, what good's it gonna do you anyway if you're dead, huh? And that's just what you're gonna be. You don't listen to me. Open the door. Do like I tell you! Oh, boy. Now slide out. Come on. Hey, Webster. See ya.
just spent the last hour with him. He could have killed me any time, but he didn't. You make it sound like he should be a legend in his time because he passed up a chance to kill his second cop. That's not my point, Lieutenant. The point is, Webster, you're alive not because Como is innocent of killing Logan. You're alive because he knows that you think he's innocent. You're an insurance policy. Someone for his lawyer to call to the stand and refute six other witnesses. Letting you live didn't cost him a cent. The way he sees it, he's got a free ride. You are the questionable doubt for his lawyer to toss at that jury. I don't think that Como was thinking that far ahead, Lieutenant. But I guess that's what I'll have to do, isn't it? If we catch him, I am his heavy witness, his questionable doubt. I was closest to Logan's killer when the shot was fired. You're wrong, Webster. Mrs. Cameron was. Webster. It's hard for a salmon to swim upstream, you know. Only the tough ones make it. Now, if you still feel Como is not the man, stick to your guns. Don't give in to me or anyone else. Thank you, sir. Hey, all right. How you doing? Good to see you. Yeah, it's a little worried. How was it? Seriously. Scary. Seriously. You three still work here? Danko, according to the worksheet, you're riding with Mentir. So we changed the partner list. Me and Logan rode together for 11 years. That's longer than I've been married. It's a lot of laughs. A lot of hurt me and Logan shared. It's a lot of love. You feel a little of that for your buddies, don't you? I remember the last time that Webster got in some kind of trouble. You would have cut off an arm. I know where you're coming from. Well, then you know what I'm feeling about that good buddy of yours. He's putting himself between Logan and his grave and that punk that put him there. Get off of him, Jerry. You agree with Webster? No, I don't. Well, then make him see it the same way. I don't want any lawyer pointing to a cop in the courtroom and start crying for reasonable doubt. Ludlow 7, Ludlow 9er. Escape fugitive Joseph Como reported vicinity of municipal terminal. Code 2. I surrendered. Put the gun down. Okay, okay. Hands on the fence. Hey, Webster, tell him not to shoot me. I surrendered to you, Webster. Hey, tell him not to shoot. I surrendered, Webster, just to you. Just to you. You little... He gave up, Mentir. Yeah, yeah, he gave up. To his pal on the force. Yeah, I 
I understand that. But just supposing I could figure a way out of this joint. You shoot me in the back, Webster? Oh, hey, not you. You and me, we got a relationship. A very meaningful relationship. Do you want me to tell you what I think of you, or can you figure it out by yourself? Hey, Webster, you're starting to sound like you're siding with your friends in blue. Hey, sweetheart, you gonna let me go down the drain like I thought you would? Oh, well, don't worry about it. Because before today becomes tomorrow, I'm gonna be out of this joint. Webster, like I told you, I've got a lot of friends. <laughs> Question, Webster. What's with you and Como? Want to spell it out, Mintir? I don't want to read anything into this. Well, read all you want. But what it comes down to is you're going to testify for him, aren't you? I'm going to testify about what I know. I don't think Como killed Sergeant Logan. You sure is that, are you? There's no way that computer mind of yours could be making a mistake like the rest of us normal people do from time to time. I don't think I'm making a mistake. Oh, uh, that means that we are. We're all wrong. If that's what you think. Which means that you're better than all of us. Don't push it. Maybe it's time for some kind of pushing. You've been playing Robin Hood on Logan's grave. Como deserves anything he's gonna get, and we're gonna see that he gets it. Right? Don't you care that he just might be innocent? He's an animal, and he's gonna die like one. Oh, good, good, good. Then why don't we, uh, look through all our books and pick out the hundred worst animals, line them up against the wall, and shoot them down? I mean, they deserve it, too. And then tomorrow we can pick out a second hundred, and then a third, until one day we're down to parking violators and people who won't keep off the grass. Oh, you're dangerous, Webster. You're as dangerous as some of those long-haired, tripped-out punks that we helped put out of the college campuses. Maybe that's what you need. A little getting your skull dented. Maybe that's what you need. Hi, Derry. What's going on? We were going to go get a bite to eat. You want to join us? You all right? Yeah, I'm all right. Just don't have the stomach to eat right now. out on you guys. It's you against the world, you know. No, no, those are good men. They're good men. They're not the enemy. Think how they feel. Logan was a cop. He was their friend. So what does that make us, Lieutenant? Well, take it easy, Webster. It's been hard on all of us. You still think that Como is not the man? That's right, sir. And you are still opposed, both of you? Yes, sir. Well, I want you to know I've been going over some cases, and it does happen. There are incidents of mistaken identity. A cop back east went to prison for a crime he never committed because he looked like somebody. All I am saying is, be sure. Be sure, the man says. Yeah, well, the trouble of it is, I am sure. So am I, Terry. Dead sure. I know, but someone is dead wrong. I know, but the man's gonna get a trial, Terry. Yes, he's gonna have a trial. But do you truly believe he's going to have a fair one? I don't think he can. With his past record, the man is going to be found guilty of something that he didn't do this time. Well, maybe that's fate or justice or something. Terry, I don't know. Yeah, well, maybe it's none of the above. Look, 
I believe he's the man I saw. Well, you heard Riker. Couldn't it have been someone else? Someone who looks like Como? Couldn't it? I mean, just give me that. Give me that much. You couldn't. That's all I'm saying. See you guys. Are you the watch commander tonight, Sergeant? All night. I'd appreciate it if you let me know about any robberies with the same M.O. as Como's. I'd really appreciate it. A little appreciation around here goes a long way, Webster. You got it. Gracias, Sergeant. I'll be in R&I. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's it. That's it. Put your forks down. I'm going to call a temporary halt to the meal, okay? Now, what I want to know is, what on earth is going on? This is like having dinner in a museum with a couple of stuffed animals. Oh. He's wrong, you know. I know. He's over there going through every mug book in the place. He's not going to find it because he's wrong. That's it? That's all you two have to say? He thinks he's right. We think we're right. And that's that, right? Mm-hmm. Wrong! What difference does it make who's right or who's wrong in this? You're not on opposite sides. You're all on the same side, remember? You all want to find the real killer, right? Huh? Well, isn't that what it's all about? Yeah, that's all anybody wants. Even Mentir wants that. Well, so does Terry. That's the reason he's down at the precinct now waiting for something to break because he thinks it's the right thing to do. And what are you two doing? You're sitting here poking around at your spaghetti like a couple of dying swans at twilight. Okay, go ahead. You can eat now. I've lost my appetite. <laughs> well, I'm not very hungry either. How about you? No, neither am I. But I do have a good idea. Why don't we go sit up late with a sick friend? Sounds like huh? a worthy deed. See you later, babe. See you later. Bye. It's me and my big mouth. I... There he is. Hey, Terrence. What are you up to? You here to help or to watch? Uh, he asked your question. What are you up to? Well, tell him M. M? He's up to the M's. That's good, because that leaves out Dillinger. True. Well, as my old homeroom teacher used to say, be happy in your work. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, here, you take N to R. I'll take S to Z. With the luck I've been having, it'll be uh, Zelmo Zizek who did it. Thanks. <laughs> Sissick.
Philip Walter. 5'11", 170, black hair, blue eyes. Been in and out of the pokey since he was 15. Terry, I'll tell you one thing. I wouldn't swear in a courtroom it wasn't. Not anymore, I wouldn't. Webster, you wanted a robbery with the same M.O. as Como? You got it. Started out as a robbery, almost ended up as a murder. Was it Como? Could be from the description. Did he get away? He did again, but this time he's got a slug in his shoulder. How bad? Could be bad, I don't know. We're searching the area for a suspect, any kind of a clue that could lead us to one. Do you mind if I show him a couple of pictures? Go ahead. Sir? I have a couple of photographs I'd like to show you. Maybe you can identify the man. That's him. That's the man with, with a mustache. That's, that's him without a mustache. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. My name is Philip Walters. Never heard of him. Yeah, but look at the face. Look at the face. Could be. It is. I know it is. What do you say, Ellis? I can't say that's not him, Lieutenant. Not anymore. Danko, you still feel the same? Toss up from where I stand, Lieutenant. Attention, all units. Uh, the alarm. Look, just get off of my back, man. You're crazy, you know that? This Walter character's got to go somewhere to get help, or he's going to bleed to death. Now, just tell me where he'd go. How do I know? I don't know nothing about this guy. I don't even know what he looks like. He looks like you. Well, enough like you so that six witnesses swore that you killed Logan. Now, he's out there shooting up the whole world, and you are going to pay for it. Hey, man, I put the finger on this guy. I don't last a night in the streets. Nobody's going to trust me no more I work with you guys, even to save my own skin. Hey, man, you're asking me to commit suicide? Enough of this. Now, you take your pick. You either rot of old age in prison, which you will. Believe me, you will. Or you take your chances out on the street. Now! OK. But I get protection, man. Till we get this screwball, I get protection. What happens if he escapes? We'll be with him. Every place he goes, we'll be with him. Oh, that's a beauty. I've heard of some beauties in my time, but this one really takes the prize. You want me to take a man who's being held for murder, turn him loose on the street, because you have a hunch. Lieutenant, there's only one of two ways we're going to get this Walter. Either he walks in and asks to be booked for Sergeant Logan's murder, or we go out and get him. Now, this is the best way that I can come up with as to how to get him. Well, it won't work. We'll take our time, and if we have to, we'll go through channels. You're right. You're right. We can wait. But can his next victim wait? You know the gambler's in ours. Pilar, I want you to set up a stakeout right away. I don't know. I ain't heard nothing. I ain't seen nothing. A guy who looks like me. I need him. Sure you do. The whole world needs a guy that looks like you. Don't I know you? I don't know. You from Detroit? No. You want to know your future, cop? Why 
Like I told you, Cole. I ain't heard nothing. I ain't seen nothing. Hey, are you out Nice to see you. I, uh, I heard you was in a slam. No heat, it's cool. Cut the slop, Artie. I ain't got time for no junkie games. I'm looking for a guy. His name is Philip Walter. Come on, Artie, I know you heard of him. He's got a hole in his shoulder and needs fixing. Why are you asking me? Me, Artie? How many times did I fix you up when you was in need, huh? How many times did you just beg me for a little smell of the junk, huh? Hey, you ain't no Santa Claus. You used to charge me twice the street price sometimes. I mean, you didn't do me no favors. What do you tell me right now? I'm gonna dry you up, buddy. You got that? No junk, sweetheart. Nowhere. You got that right now. Come on. Go. Who's he? He's a friend. I heard old Shamo was back in town. You remember him? He used to be a doctor. I hear he's down on Rialto with some guy that's on a lamb. Do you know where? Yeah, let's go. Thanks. Hey, Joe! <laughs> you must really be in trouble, big trouble. You never said thanks to nobody before. We got it, Rialto Street. This is Riker, we're gonna take off right now for Rialto Street, get in. There's gotta be something to take away this burn. All right, Philip Walter, this is the police. I want you to come out with your hands over your head. Come on, Walter, give it up. Yeah, I'll give you this, cop. streets no more. You got no place to go. I got friends, Como. They're gonna kill you. You hear me? You are a dead man. You're a dead man. All right, Como, out. What's going on? Where you, where you going? We're going back to work. Hey, hey, wait a minute. You can't leave me here. Hey, where am I gonna go now? I don't know. Hey, I got a curse on me now. I can't go walking around the streets. Hey, where am I gonna hide? Hey, you couldn't leave it alone, huh? You stinking hero. What do you want from me, huh? What do you want me to do? You want me to... You, you want me to cry? You want me to feel sorry? 
You steal. You push doped kids. You pimp. You rape. And if none of that works, you can always hold a gun to someone's head and make them beg for their lives. Look, I don't feel nothing for you. Come on, so come on, take a walk. Hey, look, wait a second. You can't leave me here. I got no place to go. Hey, Riker. Look, hey, you've been around. I, you know what they're going to do to me. Why, help me. Hey, where can I go? I don't know. Join the Navy. There's got to be a lesson here someplace. Oh, there is, there is. Don't mess with Webster. The cop or the dictionary? Both. You guys keep this up, you're going to bring back Fordville, you know that? Oh, no, they put this in little panther sets. <laughs> <laughs> you know they would. <laughs> I, uh, got something to say. You want us to leave? Uh, talking to one is like talking to all of you. You can stay. <clears throat> I didn't like you. You were saying something I didn't want to hear. I wanted him to be guilty so I could hate somebody for taking my friend away from me. Only I was wrong. But I didn't think I was wrong because all your pals were against you. But I was wrong. I apologize. OK. <clears throat> and one thing more. It took a lot of guts for you to stand up to us all. And I want you to know I respect that. I might not have said this yesterday, but if the duty roster calls for you and me to ride together, it wouldn't bother me. That goes for you, too, as well. Uh, no one, Jill, she's going to have enough food at the house to feed a small regiment. Enough for four of us? Well, the man said it wouldn't bother him to ride with us. I wonder if he'd eat with us. We've come a long way, haven't we, Mentir? But we're not quite there yet, are we? <laughs>